welcome back to my channel so it's really early well it's just gone nine o'clock i've got the kids to school I'm looking very windswept i did to try and sort my hair out my nose is still a bit scabbing i'm still not feeling 100 percent huge with baby <laughs> um but today i'm going to try and do three videos in one day and really push myself i did have a rest last night dave did tea and i went upstairs and went to sleep and i feel awful because he were at work all day and he hadn't been well himself but I were a really bad day yesterday. I can't tell you how stressing it was. With so many things just went wrong, and I had to get Lucas to doctors. The kids were late for school. One refused to go, so then I had to take him later on, and I was just a hard. <laughs> but I'm not here to moan on about that. I'm doing today a cleaning sort of video, a bit of a day in the life sort, because it's messing here. I'm going to do a what I eat in a day with gestational diabetes, and I'm also going to do an Asda haul because I will go to Asda in a bit. So, this one is probably going to be a bit of my day in life, just to start it off. But I'm going to wipe down that cooker top first before I start filming to show you what I'm having for my breakfast because you'll be thinking, freaking hell, how can anybody cook when they're cooker tops that day? <laughs> well, usually, to be fair, I probably just would have stuck pan on it and just made my breakfast because I've got baby to sort out at the minute. But for the sake of next video, like, I'll have to wipe it down. Anywho, right, we're back. We're trying. And I'm trying to catch my breath. <laughs> um, kitchen is kitchen's just diabolical really there's just <laughs> stuff everywhere yeah it's an absolute mess i must tell you it's a mess it, it is but we're gonna get it sorted out i'm gonna change i have done a wash i've got washing on floor as well there's a wrestler there we need to wipe down cupboards look i've done a wash so i'm gonna get the washing out that i've washed already today put next one in make me coffee make me breakfast do Lucas's and then um, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of tidying and if someone's kitchen's all right then I can film me all when I get back you don't see hot mess again so <laughs> in next video <laughs> so I'll try do that um and uh I get to Asda I don't want to go to Asda too late because it'll just be more busy won't it so I want to try get there early but it'll probably be about 11 by the time I go to be honest so right switch this washing make me eggs wipe down this bleeding cup of top first I just don't know how this happens. going over with somebody else there's a bit of soap still on it what i'll have to do i need to hurry up because lord lucas uh, needs his mammy he's getting upset now so i'm just quickly getting wash on next wash on and uh yeah i'll be back with you in a minute so then we made breakfast and we ate breakfast <laughs> then i dressed lucas and changed his nappy before we went off to asda but as you can see i had a few jobs to do first I did sit and play with him for a little bit, try to cheer him up before I did stuff like this. Um, but obviously, I've still got all this to try and attempt to sort out. I kind of just brush everything into a pile that's on the floor, and then I can kind of like bend just once and sort it out rather than keep bending and picking different bits off the floor. It's usually stuff like green bin stuff that's fallen off the side, or you know shoes <laughs> shoes are a big thing in this house i just don't have the right storage for any of it they're always all over the floor and to be honest even if i had the shoe room right <laughs> they'd still just leave them on the floor but yeah i'm just giving the sides a bit of a wipe down and then i move the toaster back to over there there's no plug on that side because i've got two ovens and you couldn't have had two plugs or something at builder said because there's not enough space between the oven and the plug I can't remember, I think they were having me on. But anyway, um, yeah, a filled dishwasher. I'm trying to clear it sites best I could and see to Lucas at the same time. But obviously, he has been really off of it and just really whingy. It's real late night now when I'm voicing over this. I'm probably sounding rubbish. Our, our day's making me chilly. But I wanted to get it done for you and get this video up and 
you know, I just don't feel like I've achieved very much today at all. And then I'm mad with myself because I'm like, well, I got kids to school on time. You know, I got everybody sorted out. I did the shopping. I did do some cleaning in house. I've done about four loads of washing, maybe five. I do really need to go to the laundrette though. I've been saying I'm going to go every week and I've still not managed to get down. I'm hoping either Friday or the start of next week I'll, I'll get down there because I've got appointments. Um, so it just makes it harder to be able to, you know, be everywhere and be at school and, and that sort of thing. But yeah, it took me ages to bloody try to sort a little bit of kitchen out. And then a lot of stuff that were in dishwasher weren't even clean. So I had to do it right, again. Right, so as you can see, I've started my cleaning. <laughs> um, but Lucas, you're so grumpy, aren't you? He's in his walker with me in kitchen. And he's still so unwell and packed with it, with this horrible bad cough and cold and stuff. It's just making him really miserable, although he's off in his walker at the minute. Um, and I don't like taking him out like that, but at the same time, I've got no choice because I've got to get some shopping. I will know I won't be able to go tomorrow because I've got an appointment tomorrow. And I've got enough dinners. I've still got some little shopping left and the home bargains shopping. I've got tea for tonight, but I might actually switch it up and get make the chilli and make the heaters. Um, I'm prioritising now, so he needs a nap, he needs to be in the car to have a nap. I might nip fruit dry for when I have a latte, why not? Um, but I need to get my washing out, so I'm going to out washing out, and then I'm going to just go and I'll do the kitchen when I get back. But I have, I mean, it don't really look like it, but I have made some progress. <laughs> winning! <laughs> not winning. Right guys, if you were being honest, I've still got an absolute mess of a kitchen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need to get little legs there in car for a nap and deal with this when I get back. I'm choosing my battles today. I have got some washing out. He's looking at me now because he's like, what are you talking about? Um, I've got some washing out. We have made some progress. Dishwasher's on. We've done some washing. We've wiped the sides down there. So that's where I'll probably do me all. And then when I get back, I will tackle this. That's just all green bin rubbish I need to put out. Lucas has dragged it out of the um, bag. And yeah, I've got washing to take upstairs. Oh, it is a mess. It is a mess, but it's my life. It's what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll sort it when I get back. I've just, I've got to get Lucas for a nap. I got this at Astor actually. I got this four pound the other day. I forgot to show you it. But yeah, he's off again in his walker. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna get him in care for his nap because he won't go to sleep otherwise. I need to get the shop in. So I'm getting for his nap and come back and deal with this. I mean, it's not that bad. It looks it on camera when I look at it. But once I've picked shoes up, done that bit of washing up, and got that washing upstairs, it, it's normally all right. So, oh, that's what, I tell you what, before I set off, I'm going to put my mop heads in washer, actually. So I'm going to empty it washer, because I've got some in it. I haven't got to long it out, long it out when I get back. But I'll put my mop heads in so I can get Flora good mop, because... You can always tell by Lucas's socks <laughs> what my floor needs doing. So, is he coming back now? He coming back to mummy? Come on then. Come on. Oh, honestly, he's just so gorgeous. We love him. Right, I'm going to stick my mop heads in washer. We'll get back and we'll deal with this atrociousness. I just realised as well, I've got to do my blood sugar, my living room. Is upside down. Um, <laughs> that's me. Me sofa. Look, I got a charity shop. I'll show you it properly when I tidy it. Lucas has had my brush and shovel, my remote as well. He's had that. The foot puff there, and um, his play mat and toys are on there. But yeah, I'm on insulin, so I need to do my blood sugars before I can set off. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'll meet you when I've got my coffee. Right, guys. My blood sugars were fine, but my little boy is very poorly. So I need to go and get him down for a nap, don't I? You can hear it on him. He's just so snotty, aren't you? He just woke up. I took him to the GP yesterday and she checked him over him because we were in an accident yesterday. So he'd rammed into one of the kids in his walker and my son had gone backwards on top of him. So Mummy's been so worried about you since, hasn't her? But I took him to the doctor. She's checked him over. She doesn't think that she thinks he's just been more shocked than all else. And um, yeah, he's just really crabby. So I'm going to go get him in the car for his nap. We're going to head to go get, I'll go through a drive through just so I can have a bit longer. Um, I'll only get a coffee. I might get a little wafer, I don't know, because my blood sugars are only 5.5, which is good, but yeah. Right, I'll see you in a bit. 
but yeah, I've got my mop heads in. So they'll be all ready for when we get back, won't they, Lucas? Hey? Right, hi everyone. Bed angle, isn't it? I should try hold you up. <sighs> That's even worse. I look so shockingly shit today. Feel it as well. I've got my decaf latte, and because I'm doing my gestational diabetes video today, I've shown you my wafers. So I'm just going to have two because my blood sugars were fine for me to drive. They just have to be, they say five to drive. So they've got to be over five, which they are. But obviously, when you're driving, walking around, it's going to be a while before I'm home. I'm not hungry at all at minutes. So I've had my eggs, and they always fill me up. Um, but I've got my just going to have two wafers just to keep my blood sugars above where they need to be. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start eating Harry Bows, which is what the hospital told me to do. Jelly babies, Harry Bows, any sort of sweets like that, and then retest after 10 minutes if you drop below five. Because when you're on insulin, you don't want to risk a hypo when you're driving. Um, but yeah, so baby is asleep. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and then um, yeah I message Dave again because I don't think he's doing too great today um, so I'm going to message him see how he is and yeah I'm just going to get to Asda I'll do me all when I get home which you'll see in a different video and yeah I'll just carry on showing you bits and bats of my day it's so hard when the poorly isn't it I mean I've been really worried about him because he just screams all the time at the minute I can't entertain him for long I'm trying to play with him and he's playing a little bit but then he's crying and then I keep thinking he's crying because he got hurt yesterday and what if there's something internal with him or something. The doctor says not to worry, she thinks he's absolutely fine but you know I think it's just way you're built in it as a, as a mum Um, you just do worry about your kids and then I went and banged his head getting him into the car that poor kid because I had the car keys in my hand I was so paranoid that I was going to work him with keys so I'd gone to put the keys down and as I bent I'd caught the top of his head on the door so he screamed Um, only he wasn't proper crying it was just it was only the slightest little knock but I just feel so bloody bad He's snoozing away at minutes, so I'm going to enjoy my coffee while he's asleep and then um, get to Asda and get, I don't want to spend too much, we have got to be so careful at minute. The bills, like my electric have sent the thing to say they're putting my direct debit up for the electric which is just not what I need because we are trying to get the kids away for a weekend. Really wanted to go before Ryan starts his GCSEs because he's got coursework to hand in before then that's been really stressing him out so i thought oh if we know we can do it for then and they're so excited to have like you know two caravans and just a couple of nights away because we've not done it for ages but we'll have to see right i'll talk to you in a bit because the car's pulled upside me and i feel a bit of a dick sun's gone in a bit now i've had my two wafers and lucas is already awake and he's helping eat them they're just these little snack milk vanilla wafer things don't know how many calories they are each. Oh, Dave's message me. Right, we've just got to Asda. If you can see it. We have Aunt with Lucas. There it is. There's good old Asda. Lucas has filled his nappy. <laughs> I think you have, haven't you? It's a good job I've got gloves, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so I'm always buying them and stuff. They're good to have for these sorts of emergencies. Um, but yeah, we're at Asda. Uh, we're going to go in and get some fatigue. Kids want for heaters tonight, I can't have told you. So we're going to have the chilli. I was going to do the pizzas and the chilli tonight. But I'm not. I've got beef as well. I need to make sure. Because I've got the midwife tomorrow. And what I'm worried about is there might be a reason. And I know I'm being daft because she won't. But when you get to this bit, it's kind of like, I'm um, 27 weeks. And you kind of think, oh, she's going to find a reason to send me down or out like that. Um, hopefully she won't. But and my blood pressure all went well. In fact, it and you know, last few I've had, and blood pressure's behaved with um, with babies. But with some of them, I have had like being sent down all because blood pressure and stuff. But my blood pressure, I've not checked it for a little while, but it's been okay. She's not moving a great deal today, but she has been really active last few days. Um, I felt, uh, especially when I have my decaf latte, she does like it when I have one of them. <laughs> um, but are you okay, Lucas? You've got no socks on, you pulled them off, haven't you? Right, I've parked like well away from entrance so that I can change him quickly and hopefully nobody will look. <laughs> um, I've got gloves and stuff, so I don't be thinking I'm be going with dirty hands into the thing. I've got alcohol gel, we've got stuff like that. Um, yeah, we've got resty wafers as well. Did only have two to so turn my stomach a bit if I'm honest with you. I'm so up and down with how I'm feeling at the minute. Um 
you know like one minute i'm all right and i'm doing a lot of needles now <laughs> it doesn't sound right that does it but like i'm obviously i've got my blood thinners which i've been on since 12 weeks and i'll have to stay on six weeks postpartum um but i've got blood thinners my insulin injection which <sighs> it's not gone great it's you know it's so simple to do but i always panic i'm doing it wrong so i'll just sort it out and i'll get dave to like put it in my arm or what have you and then he gives me my blood thinner in my belly because i just can't and even he's like blah blah bleeding blah <laughs> shut up ma'am but it's just and i've prick my finger about 20 times a day so it's and so many tablets as well because i have tablets for my thyroid which i do have anyway um metformin i'm supposed to take aspirin but i, I haven't been taking that because i feel funny about having that and a blood thinner um and I also should be taking my vitamins, which it's hit and miss whether I even take them as well. Because we forget, don't we? Which is why I'm worried about the insulin, because I, I just, I'm like, will I get a chance to do all the blood, the finger pricks and stuff? I'm managing, but I didn't do them as much as I should have done yesterday. Which then the hospital have a go at me. Well, they don't have a go, but they, they're like... We, how can we do your medication properly if we don't properly know what your readings are? And they are right. But I just don't always get the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I had to go into Asda. I plan on not spending loads. And I'll probably just get home. I'll do a little bit of cleaning. And then I'll probably just wrap this video. I might show you it for heaters. I'll make my tea later. And then I'll try and edit this one so it's up for tomorrow. And then I'm going to do my gestational diabetes video. And um, my, my haul of what I get now. This ain't going to be a massive shop though. I'm waffling out. Do you know, I don't know if you have done one, have you? Right, we better go. Oh. Morning 2025. So, big sale. Big sale. Oh, poor baby, we have cough at you. Put your blanket. Oh, Toy Story's over there. Oh, if only they were 9 to 12 or 12 to 18. Oh, gone, aren't they? They're so cute as well. <laughs> oh, poor Mrs. Riddleburger. What should we do? Salt and pepper up here. They look nice. Got some pork kebabs. <sighs> I'm out of as the belly is just oh, I'm huge um, going home it's one o'clock one o'clock so I'm gonna get I sound Scottish then didn't I it's one o'clock <laughs> no I didn't um, I'm gonna get the rest of my washing hung out um, what I can do because I did leave a load didn't I that I didn't hang out because I was it's one o'clock so I'm going to put my jacket potato in. It all sounds scrambled, doesn't it? <sighs> Deep breaths. I've just got all shopping in car. It's behind me. I spent, well, I say more than I meant to. You know you're always going to spend a fair bit when you're trying to feed so many. And meals and stuff like that. I've got some washing pods. I've got a million new water bottles. She doesn't know what she's done with hers. Boys sandwiches for tomorrow because... It's cheaper to do it that way than it is to give them money on the school thing. And it'd be even cheaper if I made them myself, which I do do probably about two or three times a week. And then when I do go shopping, I'll pick them up a meal deal or sandwiches because it's free for two. So you get one sandwich free, don't you, in um, Asda. But yeah, I'm going to head home. I'm going to film my haul, put my jacket potato in so I can have that before I go to a school run. 
And yeah, it's gone really warm, so I need to get that washing done out. I just need to catch my breath though a minute. Lucas has found Doritos, he's actually just scrunching them. Are you going to be in them? What flavour are you going to have? Her people were like, oh, he's adorable going round, but he's covered in snot. <laughs> I just can't keep it off of him, and he's got it all over me, all over his jumper. So I have to get him dressed again. And then, um, yeah, great sail on in there, loads of stuff in sale. I couldn't look at half of it because there were so many people. I think I picked up two things. I didn't get out for baby or out. I got Lucas a little, like, nappy vest thing. That one didn't sale, actually, at a full price. It was about £1.50, though. Can you even hear me? <laughs> He's having a great time with Doritos. Right, I'm gonna get home and I'll see you. Um, well, when I'm at home. And just like that, I'm back to where I started, putting washing out again. Oh, it just, it was such a chore just getting the shopping in from the car. You know, big bags and stuff like that. But I filmed me all for you. Um, I am trying to do the three videos today. So I've done the diabetes one and the all and yeah i'm just getting as much washing out as i can because the weather has just been so lovely today considering how bad wind and that was yesterday it's been great today there's my mop heads there look i'd washed them i've sped this up a bit but i did like try hold them and show you them but yeah um i just put another load in there and i got that out online as well and then your little lucas is just running off again in his <laughs> in his walker he just he loves my sweeping brush. You can see my mop there in, in the front of the door. He'd run off with that as well. <laughs> I don't know where it is. He just loves his stuff. I have put my super uh, woman t-shirt on whatever it is because I got covered in well, stuff off Lucas with him not being well and feeding him and stuff. So I've just shoved that on and then I did wear it on school run as well. I, do, I only usually wear that in the house but I just put my coat over it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've got that on. It's nice and comfy and stuff. I just look terrible. Though. When I'm looking at myself back I think, oh god. But you know, I always say keep it real. You know, I don't know what Dave's doing in there. <laughs> it's late, late night still. I'm still voicing it over. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to tidy it up best I can but I just never got it proper done today some days are like that aren't the way you just you just can't do everything because I am trying to still look after Lucas as well I did get him down for a nap and he did have a little bit so I could get on with a few things but he didn't sleep for very long he woke up before I went to school I had to keep him in his pram because obviously we'll go out at school so I felt right tight but you know he were all right he just likes you know likes to be outside and stuff like that. He loves to be in garden looking at all cats and stuff that keep coming into garden. And all birds and stuff like that. Yeah, he's adorable. He's such a lovely little baby. I just can't wait for him just to be well. Get rid of this horrible cold that we've had. I feel awful because it's those that have given him it. But yeah, I was spraying this side down. I did get this like counter bit sorted out. And I just didn't get floors mopped and... All that sort of thing, but it'll have to keep till tomorrow, you know. What can you do? I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> I make excuses for myself. I did my best, and yeah. Uh, anyway, I went off to school. I'd wrapped Lucas in Aaron's snuddy and her blanket because he only had his t shirt on. I put rain cover over the top just to make sure he was still nice and warm. But he were absolutely fine. I've um, got kids, got a mum. And then I made the fajitas as well that the kids had requested for tea. So I'd done some with peppers. But because I don't all like the peppers in it, I did another pan and didn't put as much in. But that's two packs of chicken in there. It doesn't look like it, does it? But yeah, two packs of chicken. And it went round kids. And we're having chilli now. Caitlin won't eat that. So she had like a cheese wrap. But, you know, did my best. <laughs> there's my fajita mixer going in if I'd show you me sprinkling it on and it, it was really lovely I did pinch a little bit of chicken which all right don't tell everybody who watches that gestational diabetes video <laughs> right guys I think I'll probably end my day in the life here I'm in bed with a lolly <laughs> the kids aren't even in bed yet they've not even had the bath Can I have a lolly in bed? glass daddy um but yeah I'm just watching me 27 week pregnancy thing on youtube been watching lorian and her uh, grocery haul and she's named the baby so definitely go check out ordinary english mum uh, she's so lovely honestly um but yeah I'm, I'm doing a gestational diabetes what i eat in a day and this probably doesn't look very good does it 
But Aaron brought them up and they were like, here, Mum, I brought you some. And I'm like, oh, go on then. And Millie's just force fed me a couple of Doritos. But yeah, <laughs> I'm having this. And then I'm going to, Dave's making us our chilli. So I'm looking forward to that. But I probably won't film out else today now. It's been a bit all over, hasn't it? <laughs> I didn't get what I wanted to have done. But hey ho, happens. So yeah, I will see you anyway soon with another video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, won't you? Um, and you have no idea what it looks like so I've not looked back at any of it yet. <laughs> I've just been so busy, as you've probably seen. And then I've got appointments tomorrow and appointments Thursday. That's why I kind of wanted to get a bit of shopping today. And I've had, I've had to hide some of it. Um, I hide it from myself as well at the minute. I'm so I'm hungry just all the time. But anyway, I'll let you go. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.